bad guys have started using banner ads to distribute drive-by downloads. Pretty smart when you think how quickly ads appear and disappear. The ones you'll see here will be redirecting innocent users to fake anti-spyware scanners all over the world simultaneously. Coincidence? We think not. Here's what happened. So a quick look around the search engines revealed that other people were seeing it from other websites including things like MLB.com, Major League Baseball's official website. We started investigating and we found a couple of interesting things. One was that it didn't happen every visit. It happened there were hours between the, between when they when you did actually see something, which made it very hard to track down because you'd get everything set up and you wouldn't be able to catch it. And then the second interesting thing was that when it did come, it seemed to come in waves because one of our researchers on the other side of the world got it at almost the same moment that we did. Very interesting stuff. Anyway, here's what we saw at MLB.com. So here we are at MLB.com, reading the all the information about baseball, and we hit refresh but here's the interesting thing instead of Major League Baseball page refreshing you're taken off the browser disappears completely there's a little box that says it wants to scan your system and even though you hit cancel it takes you to the next page anyway and start scanning your system not very friendly of it I'll let it run see what it does gosh now it says that it wants to scan my system for viruses and I should press run and open. I'll click OK because it's the only button I've got. Now it wants to install some software. Well I'll click cancel again and it still pops up a message saying that my computer hasn't completed the virus scan which I never asked for in the first place and it really says, says do you want to install long life PC? It's the recommended thing to do but we'll click cancel again and it says it's going to scan your system anyway. And I should click run and open when I can. Not very friendly. So then the question becomes, what happened? How did it get there? Well, it's pretty difficult to actually tell, but when you've got the protocol snapshots, you can look and you can see the sequence. And the sequence basically runs like this. MLB.MLB.com calls to add.doubleclick.net. At some point, add.doubleclick.net calls to newbieadguide.com. And then at some point, newbieadguide.com calls to fixthemnow.com this is where the code seems to come from and for some reason fixthemnow.com calls to bsa.safetydownload.com which downloads some GIFs to help make the pictures on the page now that's buried in the middle of hundreds of other sockets and finding it is like finding a needle, needle in a haystack but that's what's happening so what does all this mean well what it means is that we're entering a new phase of the World Wide Web some people call it Web 2.0, some people call it Web 2.0, uh -oh. but the point is that it's a media-rich world that we're living in, and all of these websites are trying to make themselves as interesting as they possibly can and as up-to-date as they possibly can, which means that they're pulling traffic from all over and they're pulling ads from all over because there's good money in it, and it's a dangerous situation. The whole point about HTTP traffic or web traffic is that it goes straight through your firewall and antivirus isn't really in a position to detect this sort of behavior. You really need some extra bit of software to filter that web traffic. And the other question is, when does it stop? And the answer is never, because they're making money. As long as they keep making money, they're going to keep doing it. And we all have to be prepared to defend ourselves against this stuff.